Hey guys, my name is Desiree. Welcome back to my channel. Today's look is going to be this pumpkin jack-o'-lantern glam look. I did do a look earlier that stained my skin, but jumping right in, we are going to block down our brows. We are going to apply some foundation on our skin, something lighter than our usual skin tone. And then I am going to try and conceal my brows as well as apply a base for my eyeshadows. The concealer that I'm using here is actually from ColourPop and it's in fair medium. And then we're just going to contour using the ColourPop concealer and this one is in the color Deep. And I'm just going to apply this on the deepest parts of my face and then blend it out. If you're wondering why I'm only doing one side it's because I actually did this look on a live glam Snapchat takeover. Now I'm going to take the MAC pigment in deep brown and I'm just going to contour my entire face. I'm also going to use this shade on my lids. I'm just going to blend this into my crease. We are going to take the color Genuine Orange and apply that right on top and start blending that upward onto my brow bone as well as down my nose. Just to help contour my nose and bring in that orange factor. I'm also going to add this to my cheeks very generously. And then we're going to take the color Slim Fit and Centerfold from ColourPop Cosmetics. And I'm just going to apply this randomly on my eye. Well, basically on my lid itself as well as the temples and then randomly on my cheek area. Just to bring in a little bit more brightness to the orange. To contour my face, I'm going to take the NYX Cosmetics Highlight and Contour Palette and just apply that to the deepest parts of my face. We are going to go into the NYX Cosmetics Bright Palette and I'm going to use that yellow for some added highlight. For some glow and shimmer, I'm going to take the Suva Beauty Liquid Chrome Drops. This one is an Imperial. I'm just going to place this on the highest points of my face, basically my cupid's bow, my nose, the top of my brow, and my cheekbone. I started to blend it out with a sponge and then with my finger, but I realized that it works better with just blending it out with my finger. Using the Huda Beauty 3D Highlighter, I am going to take that shade right there. I can never pronounce it, sorry. But it's the Tello, it's the Tello, it's the Yellow Tone. And I'm just going to place that on top of our liquid chrome just to set everything together. For the eyes, we are going to carve out some triangles with some concealer. On top of that, I'm going to take the MAC Cosmetics Glitter Reflex Pigment in Gold, which is super pretty. At first I applied it dry, but then I applied it with some water for more intensity. For the pumpkin detail, I'm going to take the Make a Forever Color Cream, and this one is in brown. And I'm just going to start doing some vertical lines. Is it vertical? Yeah, vertical lines from the top of my face or my forehead down to my chin. Now we're going to take the Sigma Ace Liner in black, which is Legend. And I'm going to create a very long, like super, super long liner and connect it to the bottom portion of my eye. And now we're just going to start outlining the shape of the mouth that you want. I kind of went for a more glam mouth instead of a super boxy like pumpkin mouth. And then I'm just going to take the Makeup Forever color cream and this one is in black. These color creams are freaking amazing. They go on like cream colors but they dry like that's crazy to me. I'm also going to use the cream color for my nose as well as for my little, I guess, like pumpkin eyebrows. <laughs> I was totally deceived by this color. I for sure thought it was going to be orange, but it was like pink. So I went in with some yellow and some red color cream just to try and darken that little pink color up for a more orange. But then it turned out to be too orange and I was like, okay, whatever, like I'm just going to work with this. I could have probably added some white just to lighten it up a little bit, but I was already too lazy. So I just blend this out with a really dense kabuki brush. And then I went in with the black color cream and just contoured my neck. I felt like the look needed something, so I did go in and apply the pigment underneath my eyes as well as some really small intricate dotting right underneath. I'm just going to take the Make It Forever XL liner in black just to fill in my waterline. At this point, I thought I was done, but I felt like it still needed something, so I did take the Make It Forever color ink. And I started to basically just create really random like tree or branch looking vines or veins coming down my neck 
and I pretty much just did these randomly. To finish off the look, I did take some of the excess paint and started to create some dotting just to make it a little bit more cohesive with the look itself. We did add on a wig. This is the wig that my best friend Carla gave me and some contacts. I will link everything down below. This pretty much concludes my little glam pumpkin tutorial. Thank you guys as always for watching and I hope that you enjoyed this one. We definitely hope to see you in our next video. We love you. Ciao.